Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the kind invitation to speak on this very important occasion, the fifth high-level UFM Women for Mediterranean Conference. My name is Osa Lindhagen and I am the Swedish Minister for Gender Equality with responsibility for anti-discrimination and anti-segregation. I am proud to represent the world's first feminist government and the goal for the Swedish gender equality policy is that women and men shall have the same power to shape society and their own lives. A feminist government is committed to achieve this through a policy agenda that combats inequality and inhibitive gender roles and structures. Gender equality must be central to all decision making and resource allocation. The spring of 2020 was supposed to be a celebration for gender equality, a year to salute uh, the 25th uh, anniversary of the Beijing Platform for Action, the 20th anniversary for Security Council Resolution 1325 and the 5th anniversary of Agenda 2030. Instead, on a global level, the COVID-19 pandemic has exposed inequalities and increased the gap between women and men. For example, men's violence against women and girls has been increasing, which is one of the ultimate expressions of inequality between women and men. Everyone must be able to fully enjoy all human rights, irrespective of sex, gender identity or expression, ethnicity, religion or other belief, uh, disability, sexual orientation or age. Another top priority for my government is that women and men shall have the same opportunities and conditions as regards paid work, which gives economic independence throughout life. There is also an obvious link between men's violence against women and economic aspects. For example, the importance of financial independence so that women are able to leave a violent relationship. During the pandemic, it has become even more clear that many women have a weaker position on the labor market due to precarious work and therefore are economically more dependent on the partner. A strong welfare state that includes gender transformative reforms is a must to tackle this challenge when we build back better during and after COVID-19. At the same time as we are fighting the pandemic, climate change continues to exacerbate tensions and conflicts. Human rights and democracy continue to be challenged in various parts of the world. Sexual and reproductive health and rights are under attack. Altogether, these are obstacles to building a gender equal and sustainable society. As we all know, gender equality is a prerequisite for democracy and this is why Sweden pursues a feminist foreign policy together with another major policy initiative, the Drive for Democracy. Sweden is and will continue to be a committed partner in the struggle to achieve gender equality. Let us continue this game-changing work together. Thank you.